Another general problem with the water sector is what's called asymmetric information. It affects both public and private sector suppliers of water services. Asymmetric information means that one person knows something that the other person doesn't. In this context, imagine that a business knows how much it costs for them to produce water services, but the outside regulator or government does not know. This can lead to inefficiency and cost escalation. For instance, imagine a government water company which sets fairly low prices for its water. The company does this in part because the government wants to be popular with its citizens or with its voters, and they like having low prices for water. But the low prices for the water mean that the company does not turn a profit and rather suffers a loss. The company then has to make up that difference. So what the company does is to go to the government and ask for more money to make up that difference. So how does this work? Well, the government says to the company, what are your costs? How much money do you need for us to make up that difference? The company, of course, now has an incentive to lie. If the company needs, say, $2 million to make up the difference, the company might respond to the government, we need $10 million to make up that difference. The problem here, of course, is again the asymmetric information. The government doesn't know whether it needs to send $10 million or $2 million or some other sum to the company. One option is for the government to send the $10 million to the company. But how is this going to work the next time around? Well, then maybe the company will ask for $20 million or $30 million or $40 million, and because the government doesn't really know the company's costs, obviously in this case, costs will escalate. An alternative is that when the company asks for $10 million, the government could say, well, we're not going to send that much. But again, we get back to the problem of asymmetric information. Sometimes companies really do experience unexpected increases in cost, and if the government doesn't send the money when the company's costs go up, the company doesn't have enough money, and over time the company will have to decrease levels of service quality. Regulated private water utilities encounter similar problems. Under most of these regulatory schemes, it's set up so that if the costs of the company go up, at least in the medium or long run, the company is allowed to charge a higher price to water users. So what, of course, is the incentive of the private company? The incentive for the company is to report to the government regulator all the time that its costs are going up. If there's asymmetric information, the government doesn't know if the costs actually have gone up. If the costs haven't gone up, and the company reports that the costs have gone up, and the government lets them raise their price, again, over time, they'll keep on reporting that their costs have gone up, and price will continue to rise. Alternatively, maybe the government regulator doesn't believe the company. The company reports that its costs have gone up. And sometimes, of course, that's true. And if the government doesn't allow a higher price for water users, we're again back to the case where the quality of water services will decline. And again, all of these problems are due to asymmetric information, one key idea in microeconomic theory.